What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Link in the description for merchandise. I appreciate all the new subscribers. Today, we're going to be installing the wheels, Gorilla Pokes, on the Caddy. You guys have been asking about it. We also do got Lowrider Bike content for you guys soon in the future, so stick around. Hit that notification bell, and let's get started. Out of What's up guys, it's your boy BJ, uh, finally back in action here. Uh, today we're gonna be test fit of these 84s on the Caddy. Three months ago, back in July, uh, I tried putting these 84s on. Front wheels uh, was rubbing on the brake caliper, so they didn't work. My previous adapters were one and a quarter. If you look over here, we got the two inch this time. Pay attention to my other videos talking about these swingers. The 83s and the 84s have a three quarter of an inch offset difference. So in theory, with these ones, it'll push the 84 out flush with the fender and far enough away from the brake caliper so it will not rub. All right, the reason why they're rubbing is because these are 16s and my 83s are 17s. In the front of the caddy, the brake calipers are just too big. I put it on the car and it ended up rubbing right here. With a two inch spacer, I'm gonna be pushing this wheel back out three quarters of an inch, flush with the fender, and about maybe a three eighths or so, a half inch away from this lip. If I can sit right in here, I'll be good and the, the brake calipers won't rub on the rim. If it doesn't work, then I'm gonna look into selling these wheels. I don't wanna do that, but I mean, there's no reason to keep them if I can't use them. So I got some of this high temp caliper black paint. If you look, I grinded this down the first time I tried to put these wheels on. Figured it would clear it and uh, it didn't. So before this gets completely screwed off with rust, I'm gonna go ahead and just hit it up with this paint and cover it up. He's just putting these caps on. For the meantime, we got the other ones that are the spinner caps that will eventually go on there and make it poke out another what, inch or two? About an inch. That's all the way tight. What? That's why I'm saying you always have to use extra deals. So, I'm not gonna use these caps because I'm gonna need a crap load of spacing. These things don't always fit. How they should. Every time I... Do you have a bunch of those just in case? Well, I have to take them. They're all on the other wheels. Okay. And if not, I'll find something. That's ridiculous. You got to add all types of washers and shit. So if you guys ever get these wheels and the caps don't fit... That or get... Texan wire wheels, maybe send some shorter bolts. That might work. If I tighten it so much, it'll stop spinning. Okay, so we had to add four little washers on there just so they uh, would fit properly. We're gonna let that dry. Bolt up these wheel adapters and see if everything clears. If you guys buy these wheels, Make sure you be prepared to be disappointed actually having your center caps on. Possibilities is that you might not have enough washers or bolts maybe be too long and you might have an issue with put the caps on and tighten them down all the way. For all you newbies, these center caps don't always work with the hard way they send. Be using like one washer per wheel to put these on and that holds that center cap to the center of the wheel. Once you got that bolt tightened all the way down with that washer, this is still wobbly and it's not 
centered. So you have to add more washers. Well, since I've got two sets of wheels and a set of uh, center caps, and then I bought two different other styles of center caps, so I got all kinds of washers to play with, so I'm able to make these work. But just so you know, you might have to rig something up to get these to sit nice and tight. Alright guys, so the issue that he was having with this DTS is that the calipers are a lot bigger than what this lip inside here and then it gets bigger in the back where having these two inch spacers spaces that away. So now hopefully, I mean it looks like it's going to clear so everything looks fine. But I mean as far as right now it looks like it's, it's going to work. Three months, four months of waiting just for these adapters. The reason why uh, it took about three months to get these adapters in is uh, due to the whole virus thing going on. Uh, Motorsport Tech is not uh, sending stuff out as quick as they used to, uh, just out of the care of their workers and stuff. They're not working them too much. Uh, don't worry, you will get your products, but you just will not get them anytime soon. They came three months later, which is whatever. I mean, I got them test fitting them right now. If they work, I'll rock them for a week. I'll take them back off next weekend because we're getting ready to hit winter. Uh, if they don't work, uh, I can take them off, back off right now and just put the stocks back on and, and call it a day. This is the moment of truth to find out if it's going to work or not. Or these babies are going to be up for sale. Nothing. No noises. Get the brakes. Nothing. It looks like we good, baby. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. We good. And we were just showing you guys the process of this first wheel because we had a whole situation where it didn't want to work. We wanted to make sure everything was going to be good. So from right now, what I'll do is I'll just fast forward through all the other wheels, get little clips here and there of them, and then we'll hit the streets and go see what this thing looks like. you gotta say about that he got 83s and 84s you guys don't know but these wheels are not balanced uh, local tire shops cannot balance them you might want to check with the company themselves and see if they balance their own wheels for you i don't know if they do but other than that uh, you will not be able to get them balanced uh, won't fit on a on a balancing machine and i don't know if there's special balancers out there and i know you got bubble balancers and whatnot but as far as for me i'm doing in-town cruising i'm going to work and back the fastest i go is maybe 50 miles an hour on one of our main roads as far as cruising down these neighborhood streets right now testing them out they don't grind they don't vibrate or anything they ride smooth uh, getting these wheels it was pretty stressful and even up to the point when i figured out they weren't working now they do so i'm happy but i am going to take them off next weekend just because we are looking at uh, getting some cold weather soon and then it'll probably start snowing by the end of the month and i'm not going to ride on them in the snow there you have it Hope you guys like what you see there. We're gonna get some video clips, hopefully some rolling clips for you guys, and uh, see what you guys think. A lot of people be talking about, hey, get some 84s in the comments, and there's a lot of comments if you guys do comment. I mean, I do not allow the comments to be uh, public until I approve them. I see a lot of your guys' comments, so I mean, if you guys leave a comment and it's not posted, just know that 
I see you. Let's go check it out. Like pockets, bird like pockets. You know they can't stop us. You know they can't stop. Keep my mind at ease. Mind